Yo, 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 what's good, world? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Gio, man. Back with another one like I never left, man. Got a crazy topic for y'all today, man. This one is about your boy, Yo Gotti, man. They saying that your boy, Yo Gotti, is getting closer and closer to having that Rico, man. Being connected with the Young Dolph trial, man. And those guys only got $900, man, out of that 100 k which is sad. The big joke would do something like that. That would make him a mark to... The people he just paid as well as Young Dolph Squad and everybody that support him. So that just messed him up completely, you know, to where it's a, a harder uh, decision on why who did it. Because, I mean, he didn't pay those guys nothing, and they're singing like a bird. And I heard the female, she was pregnant, man. So you already know she ain't about to do no, try to do no time. So she's going to tell them what they want to hear, man. And, uh, it's coming back all to Yo Gotti, man. You know, he wanted him out, and he can take over the city, man, and reign supreme, man. And uh, they got the list of names. Y'all got to check this out, man. Them list of names on how much each person had a bond for on their head is crazy, man. They wanted 50K for a key block, man. They want another 50K for one of his other artists. And 25 for one, I think it was like 200, 250,000, 225. Well, I could be wrong with the numbers, but it's two something. Y'all going to see it in the video, man. This is crazy, man. This is really messing your boy Yo Gotti up, especially when, you know, his big homie Jay is going through what they're going through with the Diddy situation, man. That ain't that ain't no help, man, on top of what Yo Gotti got going on. And your boy Jay-Z, I already know what he going to do. He going to erase his ties and his connections with Yo Gotti, man. He ain't got time for it because he got stuff that he's worrying about that's a bigger fish to fry than that. And uh, that's affecting him, man. And it's going to affect a lot of their paper, man. And, and just moving forward, man. Like, people going to be on their P's and Q's and disconnecting themselves, man, with, with all these people, man. Especially your boy, Yo Gotti. He got too much going on right now with that death. Black youngster, he's staying quiet as a mouse, man. You can't even hear him walking, man. You know? He's like one of them, like, like them roaches that come out when the light's off. And then as soon as you turn him on, he, he gone. He, he ain't even coming out, period. This dude's staying low. So that's just to let y'all know, man, on what's going on, man. I need y'all to check this one out. Let me know what y'all think about this whole entire situation, man. Drop them comments in the comment box, man. Let's talk about this one, man, and what's going on. You know, um, hit that subscribe button. Run that up for me, man. Run it up, run it up, run it up, man. I appreciate all y'all, man. Y'all already know. You know, we're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going and keep it moving. And uh, to everybody, y'all stay safe, stay blessed out there, man. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Oh, God, he say your prayers. You better say your prayers. You God. know they coming, don't you? You and know they, they coming. Hey, bro. That's facts. That's facts. Hey, bro. You got up there and said, they said, didn't CMG pay for your attorney 50000 Yeah. But they didn't give it to me. He said, yeah. But they paid for it because you fucked off, right? Yeah. Well, that was your compensation, right? Mm. See him. See him. said, well, yeah, they gave the attorney 50000 Yeah, because I fucked off. You. He was the exec of that company. That's your brother. That's gonna get steep. That's next. Watch. Remember I told you. Bro, bro, wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be smart to blame it on the man, though? No. Nah, he was they, part of the yeah. company. Oh, they yeah, saying okay. CMG, yeah. they're gonna classify it as a game. Damn. They gonna try to thug it. Now let's let's do the math. CMG and PRE. Oh, at the you know the back in the Carolinas. Motherfuckers doing so sprint a hundred times. Yo got it, name ain't came up in this shit none, right? His label CMG shit coming up, but what I'm saying, they didn't say Yo got it put the hundred thousand dollar hit, and y'all motherfuckers know Yo got it got a lot of fucking money. They saying Big Juke did this, right? Yo got it know the hustle. Yo got it knew from him Dixon, Three Six Mafia, and all the rest of these niggas how to hustle and make money. So even if it was Dolph. Dolph, Dolph, if it was internet beef or if it was rap beef or whatever, it, 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 money came from this shit. You smell me? People bought into this shit. Don't play with me. Play with your bitch. Peep, that motherfucking song streamed. Like, me personally, if I thought I was dealing with a real gangster, I wouldn't even be bothering that nigga on the internet. If I'm bothering a nigga on the internet, I don't feel like that nigga a gangster. I'm playing with that nigga because I don't think that nigga no gangster. That's, 
Real gangsters don't fuck with gangsters. You smell me? That shit automatically bondage. If you're a killer, I'm a killer. We know each other, man. I, I just don't think that it was no real super goddamn killer animosity between the nigga Dolph, I mean, to my brother Dolph and the nigga Yo Gotta. That's my personal opinion. You know, I think that both of them hustled and made them a whole lot of fucking money. And then you got this old douchebag ass nigga Juke wanting to take the extra mile when he should have set that pussy ass down. Yeah. Think of another Memphis great, um, Young Dolph. Yeah, Young Dolph um, all the way, man. Young Dolph all the way. We, all we, the we way. Flip them, we flip them, flip them, flip them around this joint. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Absolutely. We want, we want, to, we want to be like, um, even though that I'm, I'm older than him, but we want to be like Flipper, man. You know what I'm saying? We want to be able to uh, claim the king of Memphis. And uh, I pray it is over with. I mean, you know, no, it just ain't like over I yet. know your ears no, into the streets. It, yeah, it ain't over with yet, though. It, it still got uh, probably a little more life for this whole uh, shit to go on, for real. I love them little niggas, cheek lock all them niggas, cause you know, hey, it is what it is. I fuck with them. You know? So you really don't think this thing is over? You think it's still got a little more to go? Yeah, they got a little more to go. They got a uh, nice little piece to go. You know, uh, the flipper, he meant so much to people. So it's hard for you to just, it's like your grandmama. You get what I'm saying? Your grandmama, all yeah. there, she's always there for you all the time, your grandmama. If you can ever think about somebody in your family that really, really messed with you, it would have been your grandma. And that's the same thing with Dolphin. I'm not calling him a female or anything. I'm just saying that man looked out for a lot of fucking people. I'm talking about it didn't matter how many thousands or whatever he had to get somebody. If he saw this is something that he needed to do, he would go all the way out. You know, that nigga gave the bones away and everything. I don't think I would never do no shit like that. But, you know, hey, I wouldn't get money like Dolph we getting, though. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I see Juke, if I see Got It, if I see, if I see, uh, if I see Migo, if I see Young Star, I'm going to get on that shit. Because these folks had something to do with it. But nigga don't know that Juke put a hit out, bro. Nigga don't know this shit. You know what I'm saying, but we, nah, fuck all that, bro. I need to say that niggas ain't gonna say that. Nigga ain't gonna, nigga ain't gonna tell the truth, bro. Nigga ain't, nigga ain't say, man, hey, bro, how you gonna feel if a nigga told you, hey, man, look, bro, my just put a forty thousand dollar hit on you, bro. Like, you, you, nigga, man, come on, bro. bro. I couldn't hear that, bro. That shit down to put tears in my eyes. Yo Gotti lost his brother, Big Juk, in Memphis, man. Uh, you know, you know, people are kind of saying it reminded them of the duck situation, broad daylight, you know, kind of, you know, really brazen, man. Uh, you know, it seems like more of this is happening, more and more, you know, public. You know, like you said, if they want to get you, they they gonna get you. They're gonna get you. And, um, That's the best time to get somebody. Broad daylight. That's the best. High that night. When it's night, niggas know to stay out the way and get out the streets and tuck low and sit in them backyard. In broad daylight, niggas more comfortable to move around. They don't, you know what I mean? They don't feel like you're going to get them in broad daylight. And then, bam. Yeah, man. Um... He should have been moving better than that, though. Y'all know what y'all got going on out there. You should have been. You know what I mean? You should have been moving a little better than that, bro. Yo Gotti speaks on we Beef the, with Young Dolph, part four. Some of these risks we taking now, I don't even look at them as big risks. You said you print money every day. Yeah. You lose some money, you get it back. We come from where the things you lose, you couldn't get back. You can't get time back from your freedom. You can't get your life back. We come from taking them type risks. The original lawyer in your case got $50,000 to represent you. Did he not? I don't know exactly how much you get. 
know. I okay. Can't see. All right. And you knew that just we're all clear here. That money came from CMG, right? Yeah, I don't know exactly who, but yeah. All right. So you talked today. You got paid for what you just testified to, didn't you? Out there, I was locked up. You got paid. Right? My lawyer was paid. Lawyer. You got fifty thousand dollars to pay a lawyer, right? I didn't get in my hand. Three. I don't know how much it was, but great, my lawyer. Okay. And there's no question that that money was for services rendered. Killing dog. Basically. You took it, didn't you? Yeah. Did your conscience bother you? Come on. Your I, conscience. After I came to my senses, yeah. Did you say, I can't have that money? I can't use that money? Because no, you still got a lawyer that. here. No, I ain't say that. You took that. the money. Yeah, I took the money. Your conscience wasn't bothering you that bad, right? You said your conscience started bothering you, but not bad enough not to take the money for the job you did. Well, I had already did it, so might as well. You know, I got a conscience still. Got that came on my sins. Right. Okay. So. Okay, so it looks like Angela Simmons is in way over her head when it comes to her relationship with Yo Gotti. We thought the cheating allegations were bad, but now fans are telling her to run after Yo Gotti got tied to Young Dolph's murder and there are wild allegations flying on social media about how Gotti might have ordered the hit. The streets are talking and it's not looking good for Gotti. Gotti's legal issues are causing major problems because his connection to the Young Dolph case has put him under intense scrutiny. And it looks like Angela is reading the writing on the wall because the streets are saying that Angela might have dumped Gotti because she does not want any part of this mess. But did Gotti really put out the hit on Young Dolph? And is Angela's life really in danger over this? Let's break it down. Okay, Yo Gotti's legal troubles are bad, but it's not the first time he and Angela have had trouble in their relationship. For someone who spent years pursuing Angela, you'd think that Yo Gotti would actually put in the effort to treat her better, right? Yo Gotti's pursuit of Angela Simmons has been a public spectacle for years. It all started back in 2015 with his hit song, Down in the DMs. In the track, Gotti openly expressed his crush on Angela, rapping, I just follow Angela Simmons, boy I got a crush on Angela Simmons. This public declaration of love set the stage for what seemed like a fairy tale romance in the making. But behind the scenes, things weren't as picture perfect as Gotti's lyrics suggested. Recently, allegations of infidelity have surfaced, throwing a curveball into their relationship. Yo Gotti was reportedly seen with another woman during a trip to Las Vegas, sparking rumors of cheating and causing fans to question his loyalty to Angela. The cheating scandal hit fans hard because Angela loved Gotti down. She even revealed that she was open to the idea of marriage to him, saying, Like, I mean, I love him, I'm happy, I'm in a great relationship, so yeah, I'm happy like I'm cool, like I learn in life just to go with the pace of where you at. Like, I just don't think anything, you don't have to rush anything. When things are meant to happen, they happen. 